Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of hot. Today, I got another Marvel Legends review for you. These are the latest in the Avengers Infinity War line from the Marvel Legends series. This is the Toys R Us exclusive two-pack of Scarlet Witch and Vision. So, super cool because we had, I did a review of the wave, uh, the Build-A-Figure Thanos wave for Avengers Infinity War, and that had a couple Infinity War characters. We had Iron Man, Captain America, um, we had Proxima Midnights and Iron Spider, and then the build a figure was Thanos, right? Um, but now we're getting more of these figures, and it comes in this special two pack right here. So Scarlet Witch and the Vision, which is super cool, uh, great characters. So I'm excited to have these figures. And like I said, this is a Toys R Us exclusive. Now, if you have been completely living under a rock and not paying attention to the news, uh, you you may have missed the fact that Toys R Us is going bankrupt and they're shutting down their stores and it's over, unfortunately. It's really sad. Um, what does that mean for this? That means if you have not gotten this yet, it will probably be very difficult for you to find it. I bought this on ToysRUs.com. It happened to arrive now. I don't know if it's still in stock on Toys R Us's website. Good luck trying to wait for your stores to get them because your stores are closing down. So if you haven't gotten this yet, it's going to be very difficult. You might have to resort to eBay or something or look around in other retailers, maybe if they end up transferring it there, who knows? So this is gonna be hard to get, but I managed to, to get my hands on it and I'm excited to show you what it is. So as you can see on the packaging, we've got Scarlet Witch on one side and we have the Vision on the other side right there. And the back shows you the two toys side by side. Looks really, really cool, um, so it's pretty great. And there you have a little description, both empowered by the Mind Stone, Vision and Scarlet Witch are powerful forces in the throes of battle. If you remember, the Mind Stone is what gave powers to Scarlet Witch and her brother Quicksilver. Um, and the Mind Stone lives, literally, on top of Vision's head. Like, it powers the Vision, basically. So, um, very, very interesting. And yeah, I'm excited to, to see what these are all about. So, uh, let's get this open and take a look. Here they are, out of the packaging, and you know what? These things look amazing. I, I really like these figures. They, I mean, first of all, just look at this. That just looks so good. I, I, I actually really do like these figures. They're not perfect. There's a couple things that I feel like would be a little bit better, especially with, with Scarlet Witch's articulation, I think, um, and a little bit of his cape stuff with Vision. So I'll talk about that. But overall, I mean, these things just look amazing. I think they, they look really, really nice. So let's start with Scarlet Witch over here. So uh, essentially, let me take these things off and, and let's just get right down to the figure itself and look at the, the detail on, uh, on this figure. So let me raise my camera up a little bit here. Okay, so here is Scarlet Witch. Um, and the face is pretty good overall, you know, like I think they did a pretty decent job, like nothing about the face looks really odd, you know, as some action figures can do sometimes. I think uh, they did a nice job there. Um, yeah, I mean, they got her signature kind of, you know, look and everything down pat, so pretty cool. There you have that. Her little jacket thing of sorts, so you have that. Yeah, I mean, just looks really nice overall. Even down to little details, like she's got like that ring right there. Um, and her hands that she comes with, the ring right there. She always does, when, when she does her little spells, it's kind of like a twisted form of like her fingers and stuff are kind of twisted. So they capture that there with the hand as well, which is really nice. I think it, it adds to uh, the figure for sure. So really, really nice uh, detail on Scarlet Witch, I would say. So articulation wise, the head can rotate, but not all the way around because of the hair. I mean, if you can force your hair, the force the hair around, I suppose you could. Um, you can move the head up and down a little bit. So it does do that. The arms rotate as much as the hair will allow. So you can kind of rotate all, all the way around like that. Um, and they also do rotate up about that much horizontally. Um, the elbow articulation is very limited. Uh, and that's one thing that I, that I kind of wished was a little bit better. So as you can see, like, if I try and, um, this is where it gets a little, a little dicey. I can try and rotate it a little bit. It rot it bends a decent amount in one direction, but not the other. So I can bend it this way to get it to move forward a bit more, you know? So that's certainly an option. Uh, and this one as well. It's almost like the arms were backwards, kind of. So I can kind of do it like that. Um, you know, I don't know if this is 
technically inside out for the arms or what, uh, but that gives me a little bit more range with, with the arms for sure, so I can kind of bend it a decent amount. Uh, and then the hand as well can rotate side to side, but it doesn't really move forward and back. You know, so it doesn't really move forward and back, it just goes side to side a little bit. So it would have been nice to be able to make her hand go like that a little bit. Um, so, you know, it's not bad, but a um, little bit more limited than I, than I was uh, hoping for. Uh, the legs do move apart a decent amount, hindered just a little bit by the jacket, and they move forward and back you know, a little bit as well. Uh, this piece does rotate right here, so the whole leg will rotate. Um, double joint at the knee, so a decent amount of articulation there. And then the feet do move forward and back, and they do that whole rotating sideways thing as well, uh, so decent amount of range there also. This one from my figure is a little bit loose, which makes it a little bit hard to, to pose, but that's just on my figure. I don't, I don't expect that that's going to be something across all of them, and I still was able to make her stand, so not too concerned about that. Now she does come with two little effects pieces, so you have these little things that they're kind of like a rubbery, bendy um, thing, and they're like a translucent uh, pink, basically. So there's two of them, and essentially these can just kind of wrap around her, her hand and, and arm a little bit, just however however you want to do it. Um, so you can just kind of wrap it around like so, and you know, almost like she's she's conjuring up her, her little magic spells and, and kinda, uh, you know, you can see like the effect there. It kind of looks neat once you have them, have them all on, you know? So, I like that they added it. You know, it, it adds a little bit of flair to her character as well, so it kind of looks like she's, you know, in action trying to do something there. So it's pretty cool. I, I do like that addition to the figure. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much Scarlet Witch. So then we're gonna bring in the vision right here. So let's take an up close look at the figure. So um, again, I think they did a great job with these faces, especially the vision, like um, the detail, you know, is, is really nice. On, on him as well. You know, you can see all the little, little lines and stuff all over his face. Uh, so they did, they did a great job with, with the detail there. The eyes too, like, I mean, I feel like they really captured the Vision's face really, really nicely. Uh, you can see the Infinity Stone right there. Um, great detail all the way around, even down to the neck. Like, I just think that that looks very, very nice. So props to them on that. Uh, you do have the cape right here as well. Uh, nice color that they used for it, kind of this gold and red, and you can even see the textured pattern design going down the full length of the cape. Um, so it looks really cool, definitely um, nice feel to it. It's not super bendy, it's, it's you know, kind of a strong plastic here, so it's not really going to be moving around too much, um, but uh, really nice feel to it. And then I love this uh, dark green that they use, because it has a bit of a shine to it as well, uh, and it's got that textured pattern that looks really neat with the little bits of red infused in there as well, a little tiny bit of gold there. Um, so it just makes it look really, really nice because, you know, the Vision does have that kind of uh, body that looks sort of metallic-y, you know? And so I feel like the toy really captured that very well. Uh, into the arms here, you know, red and gold as well, they kind of still have that sort of metallic-y look to it, which definitely fits what the vision is, is supposed to be like, which is really cool. And then down to the feet as well, same red and gold. Um, so I think they did a great job at, at capturing what the vision looks like, really, really nice. So my one gripe, and this just might be my figure, is this little piece right here just kinda seems to hang upwards, so that just looks really odd. Like if it were to stay down like that, that would be better. Um, yeah, I'm sure I could kinda heat it or something and kinda you know mess with it to get it to, to be better. So minor, minor gripe. Um, I just wanted to kinda point that out, but otherwise looks really, really nice. Now he also does come with um, alternate hands. So these hands are just kinda flat, like he's you know pointing his, his, his fingers outward like that. So he comes with two uh, fists basically. So if you want to swap them out, you can get the, the fists in there. I prefer the, the existing hands there. And I, I don't like swapping hands in and out too much because I'm just always afraid that I'm going to break them. So uh, keep that in mind. But I like the, the ones that he came with. So articulation wise, the head does rotate all the way around. Um, he moves um, up and down a little bit as well. So a little bit of range there. Uh, the cape does have a like T 
teen, teeny bit of wiggle room, but not really much. Uh, so it is pretty sturdy, but the arms rotate all the way around and they move upwards a decent amount as well, as you can see there. Uh, this whole part here can rotate all the way around. So there you have that. Double joint at the elbow right there. Um, and then the hand actually, so of course it will rotate all the way around, but it moves um, down and up like that. So it's not gonna, unlike Scarlet Witch, which moves side to side, this is gonna move up and down, which is nice because then you can have the vision kind of like doing this, you know, and so it's almost like he's like shooting out something or I don't know, like I think that that suits the vision's uh, style for sure. Um, then you do have uh, this upper, you know, body piece that will move you know, down a decent amount actually. The whole body can rotate all the way around. The legs, you know, move apart a decent amount. You know, I feel like the, the Vision has pretty standard articulation from, uh, from Marvel Legends figures that we've seen. This whole leg piece does rotate as well. Double joint right there, the knee, uh, and then the feet do move up and back quite a bit, uh, and even the whole side to side and all the way around, you know, if you, if you really wanted to, to get fancy with it. So lots of articulation there, you know, you can really have him posing in all sorts of ways. Maybe he's kind of floating, maybe you have one of the, like a stand or something and he's kind of just like floating there like, ah, there he is, the vision, I don't know. Or you can have him down on the ground and he's, you know, like ready to fight and he's got his arm out or something. However you wanna pose him, there's lots of different options basically that you can do with it, which is which is really nice. The, the one thing is if you try and bend the knees down too much, the cape is just, you're gonna to have to move the cape back a little because it it's so tall, you know? So I kinda of just like his legs just standing straight up like that. It makes him look more formidable in a way, you know? Um, so yeah, I mean, Really, really nice figure for sure. I, obviously, uh, as as we've seen, if you're a comic book fan, you know this, but um, we've seen hints of this in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and especially in Avengers Infinity War in the trailers, we've kind of gotten a glimpse of it. The fact that, you know, the Vision and Scarlet Witch are basically like becoming a couple and that sort of thing. And so obviously this two pack makes perfect sense to have them both together. Uh, and I'm glad that they did this because um, Build-A-Figure stuff is cool for, for in some cases, because you get some really interesting uh, builder figures like Thanos, which is which is great. Um, but sometimes it's nice to just buy the characters as is, and I feel like the Vision and Scarlet Witch go together so great that um, that you'd want to have both of these characters together. And um, I think this two pack is 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 a, a great value. I mean, both these figures look awesome and have uh, pretty good articulation. I like the little accessories for Scarlet Witch as well. So. Highly, highly recommended. If you're a fan of Avengers Infinity War, if you're a fan of these characters, go get this set. I, I definitely recommend picking it up. Uh, as I said in the beginning of the video, it's gonna be a little tricky to get because I had to get this on Toys R Us.com, but Toys R Us is shutting down, so it's gonna be a little challenging being able to find some of these figures. But if you can find it and you want it, I would definitely pick it up. I think I think these are, are really, really nice. So let me know in the comment section below what you think as well. Hopefully you enjoy this review. Uh, and also let me know, did you get your tickets for Avengers Infinity War yet? Um, I'm, I'm excited for the movie. I can't wait. It looks absolutely incredible. So uh, let me know in the comment section below what you all think as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Hope you all enjoyed this review. I mean, look at this. These are the, the wave, the Build-A-Figure build Thanos wave one from Infinity War as well as the new Vision and Scarlet Witch 2-pack. I mean, this just looks phenomenal together. This is so cool and I can't wait to collect Wave 2 and any other Avengers Infinity War Marvel Legends figures also. Um, I mean, you can just create these really cool action scenes like this. Just looks so awesome. So hopefully you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments section below what you thought as well. Do you have a favorite uh, Infinity War Marvel Legends figure so far? Because I, I'm not sure. I mean, I think, I feel like I like Thanos. As a build a figure, it just looks so cool when it all came together and with the Infinity Gauntlet. It looks very menacing, but some of these newer figures, Vision, Scarlet Witch, they're, they're really, really cool too. So I, it's hard to decide, but hopefully you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.